Hello and welcome back to Chrono Trigger! Last time we left it off, we were outside the magic cave. What I did in the meantime was go and get Froggy Boy here some magic. So he now has the ability to use water. You can try to do this without that, but it's just painful, so we don't want to do that. Right, pretty much everything from here on is, is just, I think, has to be shafted by magic. Which uh, can make things a smidge slower. It's not that it's unnecessary. So what we're going to do is just combine and do a fire whirl. Of, of course! Nope, I can't hit anything with... Okay, fine, fine. We'll hit lightning on that one. And then we'll do a flame toss on these two. Mildly inconvenient, but never mind. Setting fire to these horrible locals is the way forward as well. Get wrecked, you horrible little gremlins. Literally. Nice. Like I said, everything around here is slightly inconvenient in the sense that it's... Uh, Mysterious. It uh, needs to be d dealt by magic. Which is fine if they're close, because I can fire well. If they start moving further away, which they probably will, I can have the same problem. So let's just see. Can we can we fire well? Oh, we can get two. We can get... Yeah, we can get two. Let's, let's do that. I know you can get to see Frog's new water attack on this one. I mean, can you imagine being sliced and cauterized at the same time? Just horrendous. Goodbye, creatures. This looks so rubbish. It's all that shit with Squirtle, and you're like, Charmander's setting creatures on fire, and like entire forests are burning in the background, you're like, Squirtle, use your water attack, and it goes, and spits like a bubble out of his nose, and you're like, but why? Why though? Why are you so bad, Squirtle? I mean, sure, you eventually get to be Blastoise, which is cool, but you're not Blastoise right now. Now you're just rubbish. Right, these things are gonna move like massively, which is gonna really harsh my groove, but I will attempt to mass murder them psychotically for you. While everyone gets sort of sexually harassed by these things. Right. Fire whirl, how many can we do? Four. Four is a good number. And then just slay the rest. Excellent! Look at that horrific violence. That's what we like to see. Pop. And he's dead. Hooray! You wouldn't believe this is the entrance to one of the coolest dungeons, and more tricky dungeons. Just random vermin in a cave that happens to be magic immune, which is, like, slightly more irritating vermin than regular vermin. I wouldn't say they're any particularly more dangerous, they're just slightly more irritating. Right. Alright, Frog, you're just gonna have to... We have to do this slowly but surely. Nice. Excellent. Oh, also, it's slow. It's like extra fail. Oh, well, never mind. Cool. Uh, uh, we're just lighting this one. Where is it anyway? There it is. Are we good now? Can we, can we leave the magical cave of horrible gremlins and vampire bats? There's a dead guy here. A note written in blood. The juggler in Magus's castle. Strength of his guardman attacked. Beware. L thanks. You can find this out the hard way, of course. Here we are. Magus's lair. It's not even the castle, it's a lair. Uh, you know what? We're gonna just, like, freshen up with a shelter quickly. No reason not to. And again, still confirming for the coolest part of the game. Look at this. This is incredible artwork as well. This can only be. The bats luckily, in time with the sinister music, fly away. Oh come on, how cool is that? I mean it's like unnecessary, I don't even know why you'd build like some sort of dragon with like huge wings at the top of your castle, but it looks cool. Magus's castle. Come Chrono, let us murder thine enemy. Let's do it. It's kind of creepy, because... There's not a lot going on. Look at this. Our treasure. Haha. <laughs> Wanna play? Well, if it isn't Luca... Frog, you're safe. It's my mum! Hey! So this is where you've been since the festival. You had me worried sick. 
Oh, no one here. So, uh, looks like everybody we know is just chilling out in the castle. Can I have... We can't, have, we can't do anything here yet. It's fine. We'll just, uh, try the other side. Haha. Uh -huh. Yoink. Some kids here. Wanna play? Seems like everyone, uh, everyone's doing give us a silent treatment, which is not okay. Got a shelter as well. Lovely. Right. I think, uh, I think I'll head back to the start then. You guys can stay creepy. Ooh. Ozzy. We know it's that little bat that's hanging around us. It's nice. Welcome, Glenn. Or should I say, Sir Froggy. <laughs> say, looks like you got some replacements for Cyrus. Magus is a tad busy right now, so you'll have to take up your business with me. The swordsman, slash, and flee the magician. Or bassist, I guess. And... <gasps> no! We'll have to defeat all a hundred of the Bruce in Magus's castle. I never actually counted, I'm not sure if it is in fact a hundred, but, you know, details. Okay, so... No, oh, sorry. Let's see what we got here. Can we get... Can we get those two at the bottom? We can, let's do that. Again, magic is the way forward for most of the creatures. You probably can brute force your way through some of these, but there's no point. Pop. Jeez. Thanks for being a slow coach, fro Froggy. Right. We'll just have Frog attack the same thing, because it's not dead. No, it's cool, Frog. You just let that creature go and waste our time. It's fine. I like taking damage. You, you, you do that. And we'll use these two to do another fire whirl. And you can see where this is going. Normally you're not quite as ambushed like this, and you know, you can actually deal with it a little bit better, but... This is a particularly bad, uh, bad encounter. Rude. Oh, just for case in point, look. This, like, you don't, they don't actually... Oh, that one takes a lot of damage now. I, I thought they were all magic immune. Mm, my bad. Maybe, maybe I've just been wasting time. Oh god, I've just been wasting time. Okay, we can actually choose which way we want to go first. Uh, we'll go this way. One of these kids. Do you want our treasure? Damn right I do. In that case, will you play with us? Please? Pretty please? Huh. Losers. These shadows are weak as piss, so it doesn't really matter. Let's just, uh... Oh! Swing! Wrecked. Not very dangerous, really. The tech points are nice, though. I'll take them. What? What is your treasure? Barrier. Score. You're still alive, my dear. <gasps> Rude. Okay. Well, first things first. I can't remember the. I think we have to get rid of the sorcerer first. But I can't remember if he's magic completely physical immune. No, he's not. So let's savage him first. Nice. Cool. I'm just gonna test things. Yeah, so they are they, those are reasonably resistance to cyclone. Nice. They're reasonably resistant to like uh, physical attacks. That's not that's not hugely. Let's just kill them. Cool. <laughs> Chrono likes taking shots to the face though, so it's not too bad. Uh nah. Just use the massive Muno. Just, just, just finish this off. Frog obliterates this creature. Just sticks it right through him. Luca crits the bat to death. We were not interested in their excuses. He has a lot of XP and stuff you get out of these guys. Like, it's really, really good. Uh, I may need to freshen up as much, though. Here, Robo, be useful you're not here. Oh, I thought I could get away with that. Never mind. Cool. Uh, how are we looking, everyone else? Yeah, that's fine. Cool. Hey, Lady. Frog, you're safe. 
I guess we better do something about that. <gasps> oh, hell no. No. Oh, look at that. Savaged. And then we'll have you take out the... Seriously, can we... There we go. Oh, you swine! No healing! Oh, it's only 80. Who cares about 80? Bam. Oh, Frog immediately savages it. Did I put the hero medal on him? Is that why he's being so cool? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to save some magic. Bollocks to it. Swing! 145. Yes, you do slightly more damage if you, uh... 165. Ooh. Oh, so you hit Chrono for that. Is that how it works? So Frog hits you and you hit Chrono. Right. Good to know. Well done, Frog. You just got Chrono slapped. You can have black eyes. How am I going to explain that to his mum? She can ask what's happened. Trying to save... Oh, look here! So this is where you've been since the festival. Children this naughty deserve to be punished. I'm totally not game with this. Can I get any of these with this? No. No. Can I slash anybody? Oh, I can do a double slash there. Might be worth doing. Oh. Well. Well, good. That that was that was encouraging. Never mind. Frog disintegrates that creature over there. Luca decides to shoot this one. Excellent. Right. You know what? We're just gonna do this the old-fashioned way. No, no, Chrono. That is, that is not the creature I wanted to attack. Oh dear. Some sort of horrible gravity move. It's red and shiny, and rocks come up. It's mediumly irritating. Frog, you you madman. I think I did put the hero medal on you, didn't I? Oh well. That's not that's a bad thing, really. Everybody critting. Everybody critting. Left and right, center. Crit, crit, crit. Chrono, you're no. Cr let the side down, Chrono. Not that it matters, since you stuck your sword into that bat so hard it just exploded. Which is fine. Ooh. Excellent. Now we actually do need to heal up here, because we do have a reasonably tricky boss fight. I don't know if there's anything. Uh, yep. Yeah. Right. Heal. 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 Okay. The magician flee, I presume? Question mark. Right. Bummer. Cool. So we lose all our MP. Which is slightly irritating, but not, not nothing major. Wait, that isn't flee. Where's the real flea? Mahaha. Here. Over here. <gasps> it's the bat all along, I know. Giving up, little tadpole. Hey, who are you? Keep your guard up. This is no ordinary woman. Meet Flea the Magician. What the? Hey, I'm a guy. Say what? That's a guy? Male, female, what's the difference? Power is beautiful and I've got power. Poor little froggy. You must have gone lonely now that Cyrus is gone. And to be turned into something so hideous, dreadful. But since you brought your fr new friends over to play, I'll show you all a good time. This can be really, really tricky or absolutely fine. First thing I'm going to do is give myself a meat at the synchrono. And next thing we're going to do, I can't remember how much damage this does, but we'll see. Whoop. Yeah, that's a reasonable amount of damage. We could wait for our but he'll get up in the snow in a minute. Chrono's physical damage is still really high, so we're just gonna stab. Get all 200 plus damage there. I should really wake Frog up. He's gonna be out for a while. I was hoping he'd get a slap and wake up, but apparently not. Wait, might get away with it? This could be really, really dodgy, so let's see what happens. Oh, we're all okay. Okay, fine. Out of the two fights, this is probably, of the, like, we're coming up, this is probably one of the easier of the two, but still, we have to be reasonably careful. Okay, Frog, you finally got a chance to do some- Oh. Oh, Frog, you loser. Okay, can we wake Frog up? Because what we got. Uh, we've got a heal here. Don't know if that'll wake him up, though. It should do. Let's try it. Yeah, there we go. It's worth it. It's it's worth getting. It's 
Obviously, losing, a po lo losing one of your party members means you're obviously doing one third less, which is not ideal. Let's do a slurp cut. Blech. Stab. Don't think that affects Luca. No, cool. It's eating my MP, but uh, it's probably worth it. I might dump a lightning on Flea in a sec, see what we can do with that. We've got water, how much is that? 84, no, that's... Fro but then Frog's magic stat is pretty crappy. Ah, okay. Let's see what happens. We might have a bad time. Are we having a bad time? We're not having a bad time, okay, fine. So what's the regular damage? 125, yeah, there's... Flea's got some pretty hefty defense, actually. That's bad, we need to... We, ooh. Jeez, okay. Uh, right, we need to start healing people. Uh, firstly, Frog is looking the dodgiest, so let's heal Frog a little bit. Krona's gonna be... No, Krona's okay. Uh, what else we got? I'm gonna start just using mid tonic on... Luca. And I can do the same with Luca on Chrono, so we're all sort of slightly better off. Actually, Froggy, you can just heal yourself again. There we go, nice. Okay, so we're, we're slight. Oh dear, now this is the really bad one. I need to actually make sure we've uh, we remove this uh, immediately. Okay, so let's. We need to get a heal going on Luca. Napalm. And we'll do a regular attack as well. Shouldn't be too much more now. Uh... Whack. Nice! Please don't do that to Chrono. Chrono hits hard. Can we not do that? Uh... Heal yourself. Oh, you penis. You know what? I don't. I think we're almost near the end. I think I can risk it. Nope. That's that's really bad. That's really bad. Oh dear. Did I just? Oh, I've already queued an attack. Oh, this is terrible. Oh dear. This could be the end. Yep. Yeah, this this is the end for Frog at the very least. Ugh, bad news. Okay, right. Firstly, firstly, most importantly is to revive. And then we're going to heal. Uh, mid tonic on Frog. So Frog is at least alive. This is progressing poorly, I would say. Uh, mid tonic on Chrono. Mid tonic on Luca. We're probably almost done, but I just don't want to take the chance. There we go. That's alright, I can buy loads of mid tonics in a, in a minute. I'm pretty rich. Don't fall asleep, please. No, okay, we're good. Alright, we're gonna do some physical attacking. I think we just. Chrono shouldn't do anything. That's, Chrono just. You're getting us all killed, my friend. Oh, dear. Are we all still alive after that? About. We won't be if this go if this doesn't if we get the same thing back now. Oh, thank goodness for that. That is a tricky, tricky fight. And believe it or not, I I honestly think this is the uh, easier of the two. How can this be, Samagus? Got a magic tab for my trouble. Painful that is. Okay, uh, right. We got a load of tonics. So let's just heal up. The old fashioned way. Nice. Oh god. No new regrets like midway through doing it. There we go. Dedicate myself to it now. I think there's a couple of in I think there's an instance to uh, actually get our magic and stuff back at a save point, but I don't know when that is. Right, we don't need to fight these guys again. Though they are incredibly good XP, should you feel the need. Though there's a grinding spot a little bit later, which I'll probably be utilizing a smidge. Right, yeah, this is uh, this is gonna be rough. So let's uh, 
dance, dance, for tonight our leader is to be born. Ah, here comes the sacrifice. These skeleton goons are a little bit annoying. The Omnicrone is uh, completely irrelevant, to be honest. Uh, can we get just two? Just two? Ah, ruined. I don't know how much damage these will do, but... Yeah, that's enough. I should take them out. Cool. I think it'd be old, this is an old physical job. Cr like, Frog has decided to evaporate that skeleton, which is great. Luke can shoot the Omnicrone. The Omnicrone does, like, knob all, so it doesn't really matter. He does so little damage, we'll just dodge them all. I think I think all of these guys do pretty little damage, actually, now I think about it. Slab. Cool. What do we get for our trouble? 70, yeah, exactly. They're, they're, they weren't worth fighting, actually. That's good, Yeah, I'm just gonna skip these guys. Okay, now we, we are gonna get a fight up here, so uh, let's see. There we go. Let's yeah, that's fine. That's ah, oh, that's actually okay. How are we for health? Uh, we're pretty much okay. Right. Please help. Relieve us of this misery. Yeah, we better better sort these guys out. I think. Again, we can just... I don't think any of these are going to do particular damage. Nah, we're just going to stab them to death. It's the way forward. Nice. Yeah. No real problems here. Stop, stop that. Stop that, except for the stabbing. The stabbing is inconvenient. Thank you. Yep, good stuff. Cool. Shoot that. Yeah, we good. Nice. Yeah. There's, there's no point using any tech points here. Cool. Nice. Excellent. Right. Time for... Hmm. How did you get past my cadaver pals? There's this fine chap. It's been ages. Such so slush. Yeah, this is going to be uh, reasonably tricky, I feel. That slash, you slimy dolt. Still playing games, eh, Glenn? You'd be singing a different tune if Cyrus hadn't been there last time. You'd have fit right up in those bony fellows you just busted up. In with, I mean. Right, Slash. Slash is painful. Let's, uh, let's X-strike him. Napalm him. Should have actually X-striked Flea now, think about it. Probably been safer. Yeah, Slash doesn't... Oh dear. That, like, Slash actually really hurts. Like, we've got, to, we've got to be quite careful. So what we're going to do is just use these two to X-Strike for the time being. And probably do some basic healing with uh, Luke for the time being. Completely unnecessary and violent against my person. Thank you. Is there anything else we can actually do here that might be... What's the physical damage from Lucas' gun? Let's have a look. A crit is 156. Okay, so it's, pro it's, not, it's not bad. This is a two-part fight as well, which makes this actually quite a bit tougher. As you'll see. What's the regular damage? Come on in. Oh, nice. We're just, we'll just keep, keep the crits up, by all means. He has a thing for Frog. They got, I think, some history going on there. Swing! X-Strike is awesome. Good skill, actually. Uh, right. Let's, let's napalm him since he's right here. Napalm is 125. Uh, napalm's actually reasonable. I might have to heal up in a second, I feel. Whack. We... We pushed him far enough? Yep. Cool. Nicely done. However, not over. Now let's get to business. This is going to do me a world of good. And with no Cyrus to protect you, you're mine. You dare to oppose me! And we got Slash Part 2, which uh, is actually probably more difficult than the first, understandably. Uh, I don't think I've got any decent things. Uh, just, uh, just use fire, maybe. See how much damage fire does. 93, it's not really a lot. 
That's fine, Luca's taking some damage, which doesn't make any difference. We, d we don't care about Luca in, in this fight particularly. It's it's uh, definitely these two lads. In fact, I think I'm just going to use Luca to do some quick healing on Frog, just in case. It's not a lot, but it might be the 50 damage like that we need. Ah, that's bad. It's a really bad position, isn't it? Ooh, sub 200 on everybody. Okay. So he does he does some funky moves just like uh, Flea does. Just can't do heal yourself. May as well. Da, 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 da. Ba, 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 ba. Nice. Uh, on those two. Okay. Okay. It's not so bad. Eh, just throw some napalm. Do it. Might as well chuck out a little bit of damage. Frog's definitely in the I need to heal him territory, I think. Uh, yep. Yeah, he's gonna die otherwise. So let's actually wait for this one. Mid tonic on the frog. There we go. And I'll probably do the same with Chrono in just a second. Yeah. This is the first part of the game I'd actually say that... Ugh, Jesus. Not that. This is the first part of the game I'd say that actually where some di real difficulty lies. What is what is the thing with Frog? Seriously, Slash. You, you've got a problem. You need help. You're sick. Fuck. You also... These bosses also seem to have way more H HP than you think they would. Uh, I'm actually gonna need some... I'm probably... I really shouldn't use all of these either. Wouldn't be a bad idea to actually swap Luca out for a little bit of Robo, maybe. Get some decent healing on the go. Cool. And you're gonna nape on this guy. BAM! Take that with my ancient grenade! Took it from 39 million BC or whatever. He's positioning for something. Might be a bad idea. Yes, indeed. Yeah, this is a, this is a terrible idea. He, he was preparing for the uh, yes, indeed, which is uh, unpleasant, to say the least. Oh dear, I've made a made a, an error. Okay, Froggy, you need to heal yourself, really. Not really going to be enough, I don't think. Uh, let's do a spin cut on Slasher. Oh, nice, we got him. Okay, he's he's out. Excellent. Phew! Unbelievable. But falling in the line of duty for Magus. Leaves me with a few regrets. Pretty dedicated henchman, really. Got one slasher. Slasher! Slasher's awesome. Makes Chrono very quick. Good. We actually get a save point and, more importantly, can shelter our health and stuff back up, which is great. Cool. Right then, we've dealt with the two main problems at least for this area, so now we can just progress up the uh, up the castle. We are by no means done. I'd say we're just over a third. Now, I think there's some fights we can actually dodge around here, but bollocks to that, we're just going to slaughter these fools. Nice. And we'll cook the next one with fire. Nice. Slain. Good. Not only we sliced that man, we also cooked him. Probably smells like dirty sort of mystic barbecue in here. Right. The benefit here is that. Uh, oh, let's see. Uh, cyclone. Really? No one's close enough. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, fine. We'll hack these. We'll hack these uh, ones at first. What's the damage? You dead? He's dead. Okay. Grimalkin. Oh, that's cool. Right, the Grimalkins are dead. Napalm is going to do absolutely solid because I can't hit both. Fine. Bam. And then we'll just, you know, save some MP. And slay this one. Actually, doesn't matter. Chrono decided he was no longer fit to exist, which is excellent. And we can't, I believe we can actually dodge encounter by doing this, but let's not. Right, the sorcerers, we need to do the old cyclone job here. Why is that not hitting multiple enemies exactly? 
That's really weird. Okay, fine. Doesn't. Strange, but doesn't really matter. I figured that would have hit both of them without any problems. I'm guessing a Krona doesn't move very much in this in encounter, so maybe it doesn't count. Okay, well that's definitely dead then. We, we have to take both of these healers out. Annoying swines. We haven't even come across the mighty juggler. Oh, I'm calling it shenanigans on that. Look at that. Clearly the red mark was over there. Why is poor Froggy taking damage? That's just not fair. Alright. Uh, yeah, just whatever. Ow. Unnecessary. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll fire that one and then whatever's left, Chrono will disintegrate. Wham. Sweet. And is we got one more to go? I think we do. I love this little gauntlet. Just seems to add creatures. I'm so I'm so wanting to cyclone these two suckers, but oh, I can get I can get these two. Okay. Well, this one works at least. We should have both of them dead pretty easily there. Yeah. So we haven't really got to worry about the uh, gins or whatever they call them in here. Uh, I'm actually going to wait. I'm going to wait till we've lined up everybody. There's no point trying to attack without at least two. So let's try that and then... Oh, never mind! Frog is trying to show me up, my friend. I, I, don't, I don't get what, what the beef is. I mean... I mean, I'm trying, I'm trying to be cool with these people, you know, to tell you what's going on. And you just... You kind of changing my plans up. I mean, it's a good change. I mean, I, I personally love it when you jump in and go... <laughs> And stab them to death, but it's just you know we got we got to we plan together. You know the team that plans together, I don't know, wins together. I, guess. I mean you don't have to tell me about your plans. It's, it's fine. Crony, you go for that one. I've done this the long way. I'm so sorry. That rain, that HP down is really actually inconvenient. Stop that! Stop that, guys! It's very annoying. I had to heal. Robo in, heal him, and then swap back out again. Actually, that's probably probably easiest way. Sweet, that was a lot of experience, a lot of tech points. Look at this magical powers of nonsense. Oh, hey, Robo, good to see you. How did you get here? Oh, I don't know, just zipped through a time portal. What's that? A heal beam? My God, look how convenient that is. Woo! <laughs> actually, you know what, Robo, just stick around for a bit. Yo. I grow tired of this. Flash. Flash. Sorry, Ozzy. But they can't help you now. You're flying tongue flicking. Oh. Ozzy. Ozzy's in a jam. <laughs> thou cat. Th thou canst not run. Th yeah, thanks for that, Frog. Got a mist robe, which none of these fine chaps will wear, I don't think. Luca will. Alright, I guess. Hey, Robo. Peace, Robo. Getting. Getting Luca back. Luca's cool. Hey, Luca. Good to see you. Alright, this is where, like, Ozzy sets some traps for us, which is super weird. Oh, Frog, you, your magic stat is appalling. Alright. So, we gotta, we gotta just use the power of the sprites to, uh. Welcome! To avoid getting, like, mashed here. It's actually quite weird. There we go. You gotta go underneath them when they land. I got a dark mail which protects you from uh, sort of dark spells, I think. Yeah, ma oh no, magic defense plus five just in general. Uh, that's that's actually okay. I, uh, I, uh, I don't know what's better to actually right now. I'm, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Do it that way. Go. Cool. <laughs> How's this? <laughs> Get a bit desperate. We just run underneath them. Ow! We, as you can see, we actually take like 50 damage on Urban, which is really annoying. Ugh, what the? Im impossible! Yeah, nice. Cheers. Got a Doom Finger for, for the man. Uh, here's how. For the Doom. It's good. I'm actually. S yeah, I'm. Oh, Lu Luca, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm just. I want my Doom Finger. It's just cool. It's got a cool name. I want, I want to punch people. It's actually really hard to get into a fight around here. You can actually dodge the, the fights like this, but where's the fun in that? 
Although, admittedly, the mild downside here of, uh, of uh, having the juggler and all these bats. Nice. The roly doesn't really matter. Uh, so what we're going to do is use Frog to slap this guy, who took five. Physical defense is on, so now we need to use the laser spin. So the way the jugglers work, when they physically like clench up like that, they've got their, their uh, Arda's Nails defense on. And then they put their magic defense on afterwards, and then you slap them. Like so. So you just, you just gotta swap it over. So yeah, let's use this use water, just embarrassingly. Here, get hit by a bubble. Squirtle couldn't do any better, so let's just do it. Pop. That's the trick to them. I don't, I don't know why the guard couldn't really figure that out. I mean, he did probably didn't have magic, admittedly, which which would probably hamper that. Ooh, blade toss. Bubble snap. Triple raid. Who's that with? Who's triple raid with? Let's let's check this let's check this shit out. Excellent. Come on, boys! Let's get some triple raiding going. Gonna obliterate something. Let's, let's not get in a fight with the Rolly, they're annoying. Yeah, this outside bit. Oh, we got one here. Can I. I can't. I can't offend him. Never mind. Just leave him there then. Right, this is a bit annoying because there's. Oh, I'll see if I can. Nope. Fail. Every time this happens, you drop down. Gotta slap some dudes up. We can probably solve this using the power of uh, Robo, which is great. So we'll just wait until Robo. Sorts of stuff out. I don't know if this actually does work. It might heal them. We'll find out shortly. We might be inconvenienced by about 20 seconds tops. So let's find out. Laser spin. It's shadow damage. It may heal undead creatures. Let's find out. Oh, that is so bogus. Well then, <laughs> Let, let's get cracking. Cracking bones, that is. After I healed them all. Because I'm nice. I'm actually a secret robot priest and I like to heal creatures of the night. No. Well, they don't. The creatures of the night, in this case, hit, like, wet flannels. Chrono doesn't care if the creatures of the night hit, like, wet flannels, though, because he deems them all a threat to his existence, of course, removing them, as does Frog. Go we going for a threefer? Robo, are you gonna... No, he's gonna just punch it really hard until it bleeds. He hit his gut that hard it bled. That's how hard he hit him. Terrific. Physical team. Do it. I mean, personally, I'd like to have Ayla here, but, you know, can't have everything. Da, 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 da. Just having a quick screen around the room. That takes us back up. But there are items and things to I said uh, items to get shelter, barrier, lapis. Cool. One of those will not will not sort us. So we go around this one. Fail. Now it won't be the same each time. Yeah, there you go. So what you end up with are these like weird save point creatures, I, I guess. They even have names. Like, what the hell? Yeah, cool. All right, we just we just smack them about. Frog doesn't understand what these things are, so he just hits them even harder. Robo just uses punt. Sort it out, Robo. For God's sake, pull your finger out, man. Good. We got a lot of experience though, which is great, which is nice. I mean, to the point that there's so much experience on some of these creatures, you could probably just slap them around for a bit. This is an actual save point, which I will uh, actually take the use of. Thank you. This is not. This 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 is a fail. So uh, once again, we are going to be hitting the save points. Once again, Chrono doesn't understand these things, but will rather just remove them. As would Frog. Okay, guys, good work. Come on, Robo. Damn it, Robo! You're always you're always the one just not getting crit. So have you have you tried harder? Have you tried looking at yourself in a mirror deeply? Looking at my troubled soul and we're going like, why can I not crit when I'm asked to? That was a sp spooky looking one. Alright, fine. So let's, let's try this again. So we go down here, like so. Can we go in between these two? Not falling in. I'm pretty sure there's one right in front of him, but I don't know where. Not there. Oh, that's just distressing. I'm so sorry. Look at this horrible newbery. Come on. Yes. It's okay, we got this. Okay. Oh. Uh, Ozzy's in a jam. What the? Impossible. Cool. And you can see how this works now. We're gonna go slap this fella. We're gonna kill the outlaw first because he looked to me funny. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. This is. This was. This was. 
Nah, not as dangerous as it looks. Whatever. Kill it. Nice. Okay, now we need to get this guy. So, slap him. He's put on his defense. Now we can lightning him, etc, etc. We probably want to do it so we can avoid Frog using his magic, because Frog's magic is a bit bum. Go on, crit him. Oh, nice! <laughs> the juggler's gut spills across the land, and everybody is excited and happy. Though, frankly, these guys don't drop. Ooh. These guys just explode. It's not worth, not worth the pain. Does that, does that, uh, uh, no, I was about to say the other one didn't get in. Who are you going to counter-attack with now, sucker? No one! There ain't no one left because I killed him. Now you're dead. Yeah. Uh. You git. Alright, we'll wait for this to uh, roll its way past. I mean, shit, Magus, you could do with some elevators in here. It's ridiculous. You know, I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing. The Rolly Bomber and the Outlaw gonna get so Gonna... Gonna get... Gonna... Whatever. Spin cut. I hope he doesn't do it like a, a mix and match with this one. Alright, do not explode. Slay it. Slay it immediately. Oh dear god. What have we done? Well, I'd say we came off pretty bad on that, actually. <laughs> that was that was bad. Uh, to the point where I'm going to use my, my boy Robo to uh, to use his powers of curing. Thanks, Robo. Swing! Stab. Mortal Chronobat. Bam! Frog takes one out quickly. He just does not care at all. Good man. We're actually reasonably near the top now. So we are, we're actually... You can see the moon. That's a good sign. But guess what that means? It means... Combat. I can't remember what the bottom guys do. I, I can't remember if they're dangerous or not. Uh, I'm going to assume... I'm going to assume it's dangerous. I'm just going to zap it with lightning. Bam. It might not have been dangerous, that might have been severe overkill, but whatever. Doesn't matter. We're gonna squirtle this piece of shit. Squirtle! Nice. Squirtled out of ten. Now we're just gonna slap these two. Oh, come on, Robo. We're waiting for it to happen. We're waiting. Come on, Crony. Crony doesn't do it either. Alright, I oh don't know, just take your pick. 35 damage. I laugh at your 35 damage. Flea was like a million damage. 35 is like nothing. Ow. Stop that. Oh, fine, Robo. You know what? I don't even care anymore. I don't, I don't even care. We got some nice level ups going. I don't know why they got a conveyor belt full of dudes. I mean, do they, are they just supposed to stay there until this happens? Okay, I actually suggest take out the juggler, unless we always get the same problem. So let's. Let, uh, let's actually not do that. Let's water this one first and see what happens. If I hit all of them at once, I get two reflex in my face, it'd be tragic. Okay, he's now on hardcore mode. Uh, I can't, can't risk it. That, that's just upsetting. I might just leave Robo here to heal currently. Okay, so this one needs to be watered then. Then this one needs to be lightning. Nice. And now we can slap him in the face. Didn't really think that very through, did I? Because just used Robo to punch earlier. Pop! Okay, he's physical defending. So let's lightning him again. Ooh, none of that, please. Lucky I got a ruby vest on, mate. You you, you done, like, uh, played yourself, haven't you? He didn't see his red. Red for fire. And, like, you, who are now D for dead. Right, cool. Let's just kill the outlaws now. They're not really threatening. The old shuriken or whatever. No one really cares about that. What's it like being a demon bird just chilling out a castle conveyor belt all day? I mean, yeah, you've got a great existence here. Look, Crony's ending it for you, so you haven't got to worry about it. There we go. Destroyed. Hope you're all happy now. Oh, we got lightning too! Really? Wow! I must have actually hit way ahead of my targets. I was, I was expecting to have to farm for a lightning too a bit heavier. Okay. I am going to do some farming anyway to get some dealer skills. But, uh... Yeah, now we get, like, double fight, I think. Oh, oh, this is just this is just shenanigans. 
Right. If we're careful, we can do this reasonably well, which is we use uh, Robo to do the first strike. We wait for it. We get him to do laser spin, which sets them all up. We just need to remember which one we're doing. Okay, they've all taken magic, so they're all physical. So we'll work our way around. So that's one physical. That one's gonna die, regardless. Never mind. Sorted. So, two physical. And then we'll, we'll have to all magic at the top one, because I want rope. Oh yeah, just I just saw the chrono. Just, yeah, never mind then. Yeah. I've got a strategy, and you guys are ruining it by being cooler, which is acceptable, I guess. Eh, well, luckily Robo brings it all back down to earth. Bling, bang. I'm looking forward to showing you lightning too. I actually could have used lightning too, couldn't I? Right in this instance. I might do that in a second. Brand new spell. It's awesome. Luckily, I think Ozzy's gonna... What the impossible? Ozzy's gonna bring out some more dudes. You, you, you see how this works. Oh, no, I actually thought we were gonna fight two lots of them. This takes the coke. Alright, nice. What have we got here for our trouble? A speed belt. Interesting. Yeah. It's never ending around here, I tell you. Again, you can avoid some of these fights uh, just by running behind the statues and stuff, but there's no real point in avoiding these fights. Mainly because Chrono's happy to eviscerate things. But it's all XP, it is all tech points. If you're speedrunning this shit, I can imagine it, that'd be, you know, worth dodging these things. Everybody's leveled up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, right, perfect exa No, 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 actually, worst example. We do not want to use Lightning 2 here because we will get Reflex in the face. It'll be unpleasant. Let's not do that. Excellent. We'll set his uh, magic defense on. We'll then use Frog to not crit, sadly. That's somewhat upsetting. Okay. If I kill this thing, this will work, and it'll be awesome. If I don't, I'll probably get mangled. Lightning 2. Score. Yeah. Okay, did zero damage to the Outlaws, which is somewhat upsetting, but it hits everything. It's really, really good skill and does a shit ton of damage. Downside is it uses a lot of MP. You can fix that by using the Silver Stud, which, you know, which is great. It's half all your MP costs. Though, at the cost of using something else, like we've got uh, plus four damage on I think. Aren't we? Though magic is normally so powerful that, like, eh, whatever. Right, what have we got here this time? Juggler, two of these weird creatures. Okay, fine. Again, we're gonna do deal with the juggler first because he's probably the most dangerous thing here. Wow. I don't even know where they're jugglers. I don't know what they're juggling. They just got weird, funky shoulder pads. I mean, which is fine, I guess. And he's dead. Excellent. Oh, let's laser spin these last suckers. Let's see what lives and what doesn't. I don't know what's on the old laser spin agenda here. Okay, that heals them. That's aggravating. Oh, well, whatever. We'll just physical damage the rest. Ow, what? It's crossbow me. Oh, dear God, I'm, I think I'm poisoned. It's even worse. Fine, just just cheerily the cheeky of the crossbow. I'm gonna I'm gonna murder you. I've got, I've got loads of health. I should probably just use fire. Actually, he's flunky. He's a flunky. That's great. Crow doesn't care about the names. I do though. I think flunky's a cool name. Frog sick of his name. Bam. Done. Dealt with. Murdered. Slaughtered. Moving on. And we also revive. Thought we'd get away with it, but we did not. It's the last lot, though, so we can just lightning him as per usual, like so. Probably magic stats actually not that bad. Does a reasonable amount of damage. Uh, then we're going to physically savage him, like so. Then we're going to laser spin. Yeah, why not? Because sure, it heals the like the flunkies, but yeah, it should do enough damage to everything else. Cool. And then we're going to Cyclone. Yeah, these two, why not? I'll do. Get some extra damage out. Just, no, we just gotta wait, really. Just, just gotta wait for the bars. The bar, the bars indicate victory. Do you not poison me? You just poison me. You, you can't poison the robot. Eat it. Oh god, you poison the robot. That's outrageous. Uh, never mind, I stand corrected. Uh, 
in a lightning, lightning sasso. Die, please. Probably deserve it. Yeah, look, a thousand damage. Yeah, this is what you get for poisoning my tin man. Yes, finally! We have a crit to finish it. Good work, lads. Nice done. Cool. Right. Aussie time. Ugh. Thy tu- <laughs> Thy time hath cometh, Aussie. <laughs> I'm sure Sir Magus has already called for reinforcements. Wait until Lavos arrives. I shan't be defeated. No form of attack will break my barrier. Guess what? We don't have to hit him. We just hit the things around the room and he laughs. I don't even know why this is a thing. <laughs> you get how this works. <laughs> it's interesting because he does actually tell you that his you know, magical barrier will not be penetrated, which is fine and acceptable, but... What, what, what were you aiming? <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't even know why this is in the throat. <laughs> like, I mean, I assume Magus sits on his throne and just occasionally says, Can you just can you just move to the left slightly, please? He just hits the buttons and then people fall, fall down. I'm guessing that's what it's for. It's a bit bit comic booky or silly, but you know, it's not my castle. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. What was that guy's problem? That Aussie. We must hurry to Magus's place. We must indeed. We got a magic scarf. Ooh, I love magic scarves. And we got a mist robe, which we already have, but we also, more importantly, have a big save point. Nice. Okay, there is something I need to do, and I will show you basically what I'll be doing, which is uh, farming a few tech points. Because you run down here like so, and all these crazy little bats show up. These bats are awesome. Look at these bats. These bats are so angry, and they're like, Grr. Then what we do, we teach these bats the uh, error of their ways. Not necessarily like this, because this is really expensive, but... These bats regret. Sweet. And for our trouble, we get a load of experience and 12 tech points, which is really, really nice. It doesn't take long to get the skills we need doing this, and I basically want to get the... Oh, 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 some stuff going on there. And I basically want to get the uh, the Lightning 2 equivalents for my main my main dudes here. Uh, not you, Robo, though. Sorry. You're... Although, this is, I mean, rather than doing this, this is way more funny. Yeah, I'll do. Check it out, guys. You all died. Super cheap. Super cheap. It doesn't take that long. Uh, you do get a reason amount of experience, because uh, it's actually, which is also quite useful, because the next fight is actually quite tricky. So killing these, uh, killing these perfectly killable enemies is actually not that bad. Right. So I will rejoin. Well, we, we will rejoin after I've slain. I don't know, ten to twenty lots of bats. So it won't be too long. Right. We have got the uh, skill we're after. So we're gonna quickly sneak in here. Sinister chanting. Very sinister. Look, what we've got here is uh, Fire 2, which is super useful for this next coming up section. Yeah. Nice. There we go. The chosen time has come. Oh dear. You know this bit's about to be real. There's like, fire. Exchange this world for. Look how sinister this place is. Like, it would upset even the most hardened occultist. Look at that. This is where you get the opportunity to back out should you want to, or just like slightly dance around uh, around Magus here, like so. Isn't it nice? Look at that little dance we got going. It's lovely. Uh, yeah. Anyway, Magus. <laughs> it's that stupid frog. Kissed any princesses lately? I rather enjoy this form, and I oweth all it all to you. I have something for you. Mm. 
Ah, oh, the Masamune. I bet you're just dying to use it. The black wind begins to blow. Okay, give me your best shot. If you're prepared for the void. Magus gets his own boss music. This should tell you everything you need to know about this. So what we really need to do is, firstly, is use our boy Frog to obliterate him with the uh, thing. It basically remo removes his uh, magic defense. And then we can muck around with the barriers. We're going to start with this and see how we go. He's got the wrong barrier on. So only fire damages. Okay, so we've got a fire barrier on. Which, as you can imagine, actually starts to hurt real bad. So then we can cast fire. This is fire too, by the way. As you can see. It's lovely. It does a reasonable amount of damage. We don't have shadow, so we have to just uh, sit this one out. Nice. Right. We can actually get rid of this by using a, uh, a thing, I believe. I can't remember what it's called. Like a uh, heal item, but we're not too worried about it now. Frog can also heal here, so... But which are using the brutalized magus timing? Nice damage. Can do shadow again. Okay. Again, can't really do a lot about that for the timing. Most important thing if this entire fight is just uh, rude. It's basically just uh, keeping magus entertained while uh, there we go. While he swaps around with barriers. We need frog to keep reducing his magic defense. That's going to be uh, sort of a saving grace really. But I also need frog to heal. So what I'm going to do here is use uh, heal, which heals everybody for a reasonable amount. Nice. It's not huge, but it's enough to sort of keep us from getting punked. Then we're going to do fire two. Look at this. Eat this, you cosplaying idiot. Bam! A lot of damage. Heal swap the... Uh oh, he's going to fire again. Okay, that's fine. I'm actually not too worried about using Chrono here at the moment. I just want to keep... We're going to heal again. I know it sounds uh, counterproductive because we really do need to use the uh, Masamune to do... Uh, sorry, my squeaky chair there. To do the like extra magic damage, but I also need to not die. So, we're going to do Fire 2 again. And just slap him up. Good measure. Once we're getting past a certain point, he won't be shooting us with uh, various things again. Now we've got a water barrier. We don't really worry about that. Ooh, deadly. Slash. No such luck getting his change barrier then. Okay. Right. We're still reasonably healthy, uh, so I'm gonna use frog to get mass moon him. Potentially, what I could have done was swapped out Luca for Robo, uh, but I don't. I think I'll get away with the uh, get away with this the time being. What we at the moment? Oh, I didn't need to have a barrier rat. That was, that was rubbish. Uh, we are going to heal quickly though. I think we're still on the water barrier. Got test in a sec. Cool. Oh, nice crit. Won't do diddly squat, but never mind. Back to shadow. Okay. Shadow only does damage to like Chrono, so we'll just throw a heal Chrono's way. Chrono has a boatload of health right now, so it's not yeah 400 odd HP. We are slowly ticking, like, we got basically Ah, that wasn't the right person! Chrono, you idiot! I didn't want to attack! Never mind, that's, that's, that's Frog. It's terrible. Never mind. Frog's a new, uh, massive moon aim. This is just a bit, basically, a careful fight. We just want to keep massive moon aiming until we've got some. There we go, now we got a fire barrier. So, what I'm going to do next is, uh, heal off the inevitable, like, pain. We could just, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm probably gonna, let's see, mid tonic frog, and Lucas gonna heal herself as well. We're actually running out of those. I should have bought a huge amount before we came in here, but I didn't because I'm rubbish. So we'll just have to make do. So what we're gonna do is, do you mind? We're gonna use the fire two, followed by the frog, and see what happens. Aha! I think, if we're lucky, we may have actually pushed him past a certain point now. 
I say lucky, I mean it actually gets slightly, slightly harder. Yeah, I think we have, in fact, yeah, I can actually use Chrono to attack now. Okay, cool. Now we just, now we just need to go a bit ham. Just do as much damage as we can. Yeah, his uh, defense is starting to drop. Okay. Yeah, this get this can be very very nasty. So what we need to do is make sure everyone's HP is above 200, which it currently isn't. So we need to use Frog quickly to heal everybody. If we do not, we are going to be into a world of pain. That's okay. Actually, that was that was not okay. I didn't use the right skill there. Okay, I might risk another heal. I don't know. We I think we're okay, but I'm just not going to risk it. Make sure everyone's topped up as they possibly can. What are we at now? Good. That's way better. And we'll fire two. Basically, Magus risks a uh, spell. Is is him doing his like, really, really hench spell. Does a shit ton of damage to absolutely everybody. You know what? I'm going to lightning to you. I'm going li to do it right there. Right in front of your face. Look at that. I'm going to make you blind. Ah, I can't see, he says. Yeah, good luck casting spells and you can't see. Oh shit, I actually just wrong around. I should have waited there. This hurts. Also looks really cool. Look at that. It's like space and shit. Like, oh god, not space. 200 damage. Blam. But if we, as long as we're above, about two, like midway through our health, HP bar, it's fine. So, uh. And, uh spin cut. Let's see how much damage we can get out of this. Fine, too. I'm gonna use Frog to heal again. Frog's healing is actually reasonably potent here. So use Luca's crazy magic to absolutely obliterate him. Nice. Frog, my man, you're back in heal duty, even though your skills with the Masamune are legendary. Cool. When we get to this point in the fight, it's actually, believe it or not, gets, I'd say it gets a little bit easier. But. Whee! Strike. Ooh, I'm running, okay, we need to um, mid out of them. Cool. And here we go again. So, as you can see, we're still not quite recovered from the last one. That's why F poor Froggy hasn't really had much to do. We are going to heal again. You know, I'm just, let's just change up a little bit. Let's go, let's go for some lightning. Why not? There we go. We're, we're as healthy as we possibly can be before this spell goes off. The constant drain of our HP isn't particularly friendly either. 250. Eh, it's really expensive and not quite as good. But it looks cooler. Fire, and then we'll spin cut. There we go. I think fire two looks awesome. It's good, good skill. Nice. We crunch. Magus has a lot of health, as you can see. He is he is a healthy, healthy individual. All right, spin cut again. We are gonna. Yeah, I think I might be able to get Luca's attack off before the dark matter hits. Oh no, we got him. We got him. Nice. There we go. Runners level up as well. Sweet. Yep. Ritual ruined. Savaged. Destroyed. Ugh. What have you done to the Masamune? What's happening? Could it be? Lavos. Bad timing. Don't wake up on me now. What? What do you mean? You, you didn't? You create him? You fools. I only summoned him. He lives in the inner earth, absorbing the land's power and growing ever stronger. So he wasn't born in this period. What's going on? A, 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 a gate! It's huge! You! If you hadn't shown up... We're being drawn in! Whoa! Is <laughs> this frog? Whoa! Well, I mean, this looks poor. I mean... Oops. Chrono. Chrono! Wake up, Chrono! Honey, you'll be late for work. Hey, yeah, lazy swine, get out of bed. 
I've forgotten how beautiful Lini's bell could sound. <laughs> I love the way Chrono's sleeping there, like, face down in the pillow. Exactly how I was this morning, like, just not getting out of bed. Chrono, we can't keep spawning off my dad. You need to get a job. Chrono. Chrono, 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 Chrono. Uh. Hmm. Hey, Ayla. Chrono, awake. Ayla. Ayla had a strange dream. Went to Mystic Mountains. Everyone lie there hurt. I carry back to hut. Magus. Yummy frog for Ayla eat. P -p Perish the thought, lass. Sir. By the way, wh whether the blue-haired one. I only find you the blue-haired one more tasty. We have lost him. Magus said that Lavos was born in the distant past. Lavos? Not worry now. You rest. Hurt bad. Oh, isn't Ayla nice? She can rescue us and everything. Hey, Kino. Chrono okay now? Ayla busy. Look for the Ruba village. Fight reptiles together. Destroy reptiles so we know survive. Kino. <gasps> what happened? Quiet. Chrono resting. Northwood burning. <gasps> Shocking. But that's something so shocking, I'll have to wait for next time. I really hope you enjoyed today's set. I know it's basically one dungeon, but it was a really big one. Uh, yeah, and next time we're going to be uh, punching dinosaurs really hard in the face again. So, hope you come join me for that. Till next time, folks. Bye-bye.